doing the scratch. Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Sarah from Sarah's Reading Nook and today I am going to be talking about books that have helped me get through difficult times. If you're new here, welcome. My cat Olivia and I are happy that you stumbled across our page and we'd love to have you here. So I don't know about you, but there have been times where reading has really helped me out, whether it be through world events, the loss of loved ones, a global pandemic. I have always found that reading has really helped me through those times. So I went through my Goodreads page and looked for all of the books that I had read during one of those difficult times and wrote a list of them, which is not comprehensive by any means, but I tried to write down as many as I could. The first book is a poetry book called Helium, and the cover is so beautiful. It's of a boy being lifted up by a beautiful blue big balloon. This poetry collection, it spans so many genres, whether it be love poems, political commentary, personal self-reflection. This book is beautiful, and I have even purchased copies for my friends. <laughs> the collection is broken down into four different parts. And I will read one of my favorite poems. I hope there is something beautiful on the horizon that's just as impatient as I am. Something so eager it wants to meet me halfway. A moment that is diligently staring at its watch, trembling with nervousness, frustrated, and bursting at the seams, wondering what's taking me so long to arrive. Oh, I just love that poem so much. It is so beautiful and just such a hopeful poem. It provides quite a lot of inspiration and I hope that you will check out that book. Again, it's called Helium by Rudy Francisco. The next book is called The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse by Charlie McKeezy. So I have mentioned this book before. Hi! Olivia! It looks like someone has just joined me right now. Hi! So she's just gonna be sitting on my lap. So I have mentioned this book before in a previous vlog slash wrap up. Now, if you haven't read it yet, I strongly suggest that you do. I read this book during approximately the lockdown period here in Canada. I remember feeling so overwhelmed about what was going on. And it was very difficult for me to process what the next few months what the next few days, weeks, months were going to look like. And of course, being a healthcare professional and at the time being scared of not having enough personal protective equipment, well, it was frightening. So I remember looking through the pages of this book and it's essentially a book filled with illustrations paired with inspirational quotes. It shows the journey of a young boy we don't quite know exactly what his difficulties are, but as he faces them, he's supported by his friends, the fox, the mole, and the horse, and the author is able to impart wisdom to this little boy through inspirational quotes. So in that sense, as this boy is facing the storm and not knowing exactly what difficulties are to come his way, you start to have this feeling that the author is not just talking to the little boy, but he's also talking to you. So it's a very beautifully illustrated, beautifully written book. I remember it filled me with hope and I return to the illustrator's Instagram often and the illustrations of his book whenever I feel that I would really love to have some words of wisdom today. <laughs> so it is highly recommended by Olivia and I. So this next book is actually a manga series and it's called Sand Chronicles by Hinako Ashihara. Now I read this book during university when I was trying to get used to the transition from being in a small town to a larger city. Now I don't know how many of you are from a smaller town, but when you are, the world can be kind of intimidating. 
So it was interesting to read this book because the opposite happened. And instead, a girl goes from being in a big city to a rural town and it is overwhelming for her how kind and how personal people are. And this happens after her parents have a divorce. And there are definitely times when you need a romantic book and I think this one is perfect. I definitely recommend that you check it out and just let me know below. Do you read manga? And if so, I would love for you to recommend me one. And now another manga that really was awesome, I remember also in university. Like biochemistry was not an easy degree by any means. There were nights where I would be at school on the computer doing my Excel spreadsheets, trying to figure out statistics, which still are difficult for me to grasp. And it is difficult when outside you see in Canada, so much snow that's surrounding you. Snow, ice, cold weather, and you feel somewhat isolated in your own personal little cocoon. <laughs> and the book that I read was Kimi ni Todoke, and it's a manga, and I love it so much. So there is a girl named Sawako, and now if you have ever watched The Ring, you'll know that the girl from The Ring has very long black hair, so Sawako is regarded as looking similar to her. And so everyone is scared of her. But she is actually a very sweet, nice, honest person. And you see her befriend a boy in the class and see how their relationship develops. It is a romance and it is contemporary and a slice of life type of manga. But you also see a self-discovery as well and you see her confidence grow throughout the series. It is one of my absolute favorites, and I especially love the Christmas artwork, and actually I wanna go read it right now, <laughs> because that's how wonderful it is. There is also an anime that you can watch by a similar title, so of course I recommend Kimi ni Todoke, or also called from me to you. Now the next book is called The Dalai Lama's Cat and it's by David Michi. It is about a stray cat who is taken in by none other than the Dalai Lama. It is written from the cat's perspective and what I find the most motivating about this book is that throughout it you are given tidbits about mindfulness, compassion, remaining humble, just all things that add up to what I believe are virtues that everyone should possess. However, it isn't really taught by instruction, it's taught by example. And so it's so beautiful to read. I'm not sure how you can get much better than a cat and the Dalai Lama, which if you have ever seen his laugh, it is adorable. And I challenge anyone to read this book and not feel lighter and more hopeful about the world. Again, the book is called The Dalai Lama's Cat and I hope that you read it. And finally, the last book that I have is a book that I will be reading next month. And that book is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Now I'm going to go into this book in so much depth next month. But the reason why I say that it is a good book to read during difficult times is because sometimes it can be overwhelming to look at the world and see good. And this book has a perfect example of someone, Scrooge for instance, who is despicable. And of course in the novel you see Scrooge go from just being horrendous and horrifying to seeing the fault in his ways. Now he wasn't always despicable, but in the book you see him being guided by various ghosts towards a solid, concrete, good path. And through being visited by the ghosts, he sees times in his life where he has had joy, he sees the difficulties that other people are experiencing, and how he may contribute to those difficulties. 
And finally, he is shown what could happen if he continues on with his ways. And so reading this book, you just sort of feel empathy towards a character that you might not necessarily have empathy for. And that's one of the things I love about Charles Dickens' writing. He is able to craft characters that you have immense feelings towards. And the overall feeling that you have at the end of the book is that change has happened, things have been improved, and there is a hope for the future. So those are all the books. Hi. So those are all the books that we wanted to talk about today. Hi. She's doing the scratch. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like if you like this content. And the word of the day is menina. Menina. Menina means girl. And that's everything for today. Bye!